Utah Department of Health telling me that between Alpine and Canyon School District, there have been more than 8,500 students and staff that have quarantined during the pandemic, with less than 50 of them testing positive for the virus. In the past, we have been adhering to the typical quarantine protocol of 14 days. 14-day quarantines might not be necessary for some students and staff. We feel like this is the this is the best way to minimize the impact of quarantine while also ensuring the health of students, teachers, and staff who are in schools. Now those who meet specific requirements can begin their track back to in-person instruction after seven days rather than wait until two full weeks. The impact on schools was multiple modalities for teachers to be teaching in. Students not fully online and not fully in class, but in and out. So it was causing a lot of stress on our students and on our teachers and system. The low risk test and return guidance applies to students and staff that were exposed to a COVID-19 positive individual inside of a school. The goal, getting back in the classroom faster by meeting the following criteria. The positive case and the person exposed must have both been wearing masks. After the exposed person quarantines for seven days, they can then take a COVID test, which must return a negative result. Finally, the exposed exposed individual must not be showing symptoms of COVID-19. If you meet all three points, you've got the green light to head back to school. So all of it working together is really about making sure that we keep learning happening, we keep students and teachers and families safe. With recent data and understanding how testing can show positive results two days prior to showing symptoms, Utah Department of Health believes they can catch roughly 90% of cases by testing on day seven of quarantine. Being able to follow the science and use data to get kids back in schools safer and faster will really make a difference on the amount of disruption to their academic learning, their social emotional well-being, and the stress on teachers of tracking kids who are in and out and the stress on families as well. If the quarantined individual chooses not to take a test, they must quarantine the full 14 days from their last positive exposure. We have the full version of the new guidance on our website, fox13now.com. We're live in Sandy tonight. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.